Big Brother Bell here brought to you by Hoop Loudy. Well, it's on the quarter off in the classroom or out. This channel was developed to help you graduate the top of your class. Now, we do this by learning from those student athletes that came before you, both their wins and their losses. Ultimately, you just want to see you do well. Make yourself proud, make your family proud, and be able to use this game that we love so much called basketball and transfer it over in life allowing you to be more efficient with your time, both on the court and off. Though we're talking about basketball today, all this stuff is transferable to any sport. Everything is still applicable, all right? So without further ado, let's get into it. Today I want to talk to you about a situation that I had going on uh, here recently. I spoke with a young man. He's about to finish his bachelor's degree, undergrad. Talked a little bit about the future and what he had in store. What he talked to me about kind of just blew me away. He says, yeah, ready for graduation, I'm excited about this, and I'm I'm excited for him. I'm like, yeah, man, your fam go be there. You know, who's all coming to graduation? He started telling me who's coming to the graduation. I'm excited. I've never even met these people. I'm excited. Like, oh yeah, your aunt, for real? I'm from Michigan? That's what's up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Your brother coming? Oh man, your little oh man, that's, that's cool. That's real cool, man. Congratulations, man. I'm gonna be there. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Make sure we take a picture after. As the conversation goes on, he continues to talk about what he's going to do after college. And he says, uh, I'm going to go back to school. And I'm like, what? I'm a master's? Doctorate? PhD? EDD? What, some kind of certification? Like, what's your bachelor's? What's going on? This joker told me. What did he say? This joker, this joker told me. What did he say? This joker told me. What did he tell you? He told me. What did he tell you? He told me. What'd he tell you? This joker told me. What'd he tell you? That I'm coming back from my bachelor's now. Maybe I wasn't listening. You told me that you already had your bachelor's. I thought you told me that you're about to graduate. You told me the milk ain't clean. What's going on? Joker, turn, joker turns to me. What did he say? Joker turns to me. What did he tell you? Tells me. He wants to go back to school to get another bachelor's. You might as well go ahead and get started on his master's. Why another bachelor's? Why, why didn't you just do a double major when you were in it the first time? You was getting it taken care of. Get it. What, what's going on? He turns to me and said, well, man, I was just focused on being eligible. So I just picked a major. I didn't want to have to stress out about school and, and my sport. So I, I just picked something that I could just worry about the sport. Um, hmm. Um, uh, hmm. How can I put this? How can I put this? Give me something. How can I put this? How can I put this? Uh, how, can, how can I? How can I put this? How can I put this? How can I? How can I put this? That's stupid. That's stupid. Why is that stupid? I shouldn't say that. That's not stupid. It's 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 not the smartest thing you could do. All right. Let me put it like that. Case in point. You find a university in this country, in this galaxy, that'll say, you know what, dude? You can who? You're good. You're so good that I'm going to pay for your scholarship. I'm going to pay for your school in your first four years in hopes that you come back the next four years and play for us. But I'm going to pay for your, your school on the front end because I have so much confidence in you that you're going to come back the four years after that and play. How crazy is that? Pretty crazy, right? Pretty crazy. No school in existence other than homeschool and your mother is a teacher is going to allow you to get away with something like that. No school is going to say, I'm going to pay for your scholarship. I'm going to pay for your scholarship. You go. You don't give us anything on the front end for four years or five. Because most people take five years to graduate in hopes that you come back four years after or five years after to play for us. No one's going to do no mess like that. Why would you sell your short for that same situation when it's your turn why would you play for a university that you can't get the major you want to get while you're being a student why would you do that why would you postpone the academic portion it does not make any sense I don't care how stressed out you are about playing the sport and going to class you just there for athletics you major in some Rudy Pooh doggone academic rigor you lost man so that's a quick way to lose it does not make any sense it makes sense from the standpoint of you want to play basketball listen I get it I get the whole ball is life, I love basketball, I eat, drink, sleep, bas I was there, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. You're not helping anyone, you're just hurting yourself, okay? I mean, let's, let's, let's be real, if it wasn't for basketball, I wouldn't have graduated high school, let alone went to college. 
I wouldn't have stepped foot on a college campus. I, the best I would have got was a GED. Nothing's wrong with the GED at all, but that, that would be what I would have done. Because I was not a school person. As you get older, you realize that this is something that you need to, to advance in life, right? You need that, you need that degree. Don't cheat yourself with this whole mentality of I'm just gonna worry about the athletic portion and not worry about the academic portion. So this young man I'm talking to, I'm just flabbergasted that he's even telling me no mess like this, because I'm looking at like, you have to go back, you have to go back to school for, for more years of schooling when you could have got it taken care of under scholarship. You didn't do anybody else's favor, you set yourself back. You was already at the table, you was already eating. You eating at the table. What you mean you gonna push yourself away from the table and, and hopes that you're gonna get in line and get back in? You may not get back to this table again. These, these next four or five years could be four or five years you get experience in the, in the chosen field you wanna be in. And really, that's that's the reason for this channel. In a nutshell, that's that's the reason for this channel. So many words. I want you to, you to learn from those that came before you, so you can be more efficient with your time. We talk a lot about this. We just want you to use the game of basketball as a tool, and not let the game of basketball use you as a tool. Let's say you go to a university and you win championships. Y'all go undefeated for four years. Win championship, championship after championship after championship after championship. Okay. Now this is what happens. When y'all get all this notoriety on TV or whatnot, because everybody is excited about. Y'all winning all these championships, you just can't be beat. Enrollment is gonna go up. More students are gonna wanna flock to that school because y'all are winning. It's a buzz. Everyone everyone wants to be a, a part of a winning situation, even if they don't even watch the sport. So you're gonna bring a lot of individuals to that school by winning all those games. So the university makes X amount of money off each individual that goes to that school. And then that brings even more prospective students that are interested in the school. So that's what the school is getting out of. What are you getting out of it if you don't graduate? What are you getting out of it if you don't get to make in what you want to major in. And that means basketball has now used you as a tool. The university has used you as a tool instead of you using it as a tool. How do you use it as a tool? You use it as a tool like many of us student athletes that came before you use it as a tool. You use it as a tool when you get to go stay at some of the finest hotels in this country because you played this team on this coast and this team on that coast. Stay, uh, going to some of the best restaurants, getting your education taken care of. For some of you that may be on a full ride, everyone's not on a full ride scholarship. I'm not naive, I understand that. I didn't start off when I got into college with everything being paid for. That first year when I red shirted, it, everything wasn't paid for. I had to work my way up. But in any regard, that's your time and effort you're putting into it. So never feel like you're doing someone a favor by majoring in some bull so you can play. Play the sport that you love so much, but you also want to get this academic portion taken care of as well. You shouldn't feel pressure to do one and, and, and not the other because I want you to learn from the situation any comments that you may have about this matter any questions you may have about being a student athlete whether it be high school preps or whether it be college uh, let's talk about it put it in the comments below and we'll make sure you get to it as always thank you for tuning in if you like this content make sure you subscribe we put out content every week and uh, let me know how you feel about this all right hoop loudy